Today we're talking about different square penetrations and round penetrations, and specifically tips on purchasing and installing pipe boots. In this video, we're covering penetrations in a metal roof, and specifically EPDM rubber pipe boots for round penetrations. We've talked about in the past that for standing seam metal roofs and really any roof, the fewer the penetrations, the better. More penetrations mean more chances for water to get in, but inevitably, there's rarely gonna be a project that doesn't have a single penetration, whether it's a plumbing vent or a chimney. First, there are two types of penetrations on a roof, round and square. Round penetrations can be things like stove pipes, uh, electrical access points, exhaust vents, and when it comes to square penetrations, think skylights or chimneys. Square penetrations can be flashed in a variety of ways, but we recommend a pre-manufactured, welded curb for the most weather-tight installation. We do have a couple videos that explain what a curb is, where you can get one, and how to install one step-by-step. Step. I'll leave those in the description below as well. Round penetrations can also be flashed in a variety of ways, including custom fabricating metal to fit the pipe or using a pipe boot like this one here. An EPDM rubber pipe boot is installed around the pipe, fastened to the metal with gasket head fasteners and clamped to the neck of the pipe. Sheffield Metals sells deck type pipe boots, which come in a variety of colors and sizes to match the penetration diameter and even the color of the roof. There are also high temp silicone versions that can withstand continuous temperatures of up to 392 degrees Fahrenheit and retrofit versions like this one here that can unzip and be placed around a pipe instead of slipping over it. Dektite also offers a 20 year manufacturer's warranty and if your roof is super steep, they make products for up to a 60 degree pitch. And we have gotten questions before about why you'd put a rubber product on a 50 plus year metal roof. We did do a video on why Sheffield Metals promotes rubber pipe boots and I'll leave that in the description below for you as well. But the gist is they're easy to find, easy to install and easy to replace. You don't need to have a ton of experience in custom metal fabrication to install it and they come with a 20 year warranty. When it comes to installing pipe boots, make sure you don't screw into the decking material under the penetration, but only to the metal itself, so the panel can still expand and contract. Always follow your metal roofing manufacturer's requirements on fastener spacing, apply the proper sealant on the underside of the base and around the neck of the pipe. Another huge thing to remember, and this mistake happens a lot, do not install these on a seam. They're not designed to go up and over the vertical leg of a standing seam panel. Either lay out your roof so the pipe falls in the flat of the panel, have the penetration move before you install the roof, or use a pipe in seam detail if you have to. The pipe in seam detail is designed like a curb detail with a base piece of flat metal surrounded by cleats with the panels running above and below the pipe. Lastly, don't forget your pipe clamp to finish the installation. Once you've determined a pipe boot is what you need, there are some basic factors to consider when choosing the right one for the application. Make sure the pipe boot is the right size to fit the pipe diameter and the color is what you want. Choose a high temp silicone pipe boot if your application requires it, such as a chimney stove pipe that gets really hot. Consider your slope. And finally, consider how you can access the pipe for installation to determine if you need a regular or retrofit pipe boot. Make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel so you don't miss the next video in our Standing Seam Metal Roofing Accessory Series. Comment down below with any questions. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.